Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel and today again we are solving another problem from LitCode top interview question list and the problem is reverse integer. So I always recommend everyone to solve the top interview question list first if you are preparing for interviews. So that list has almost around 146 problems and I have published around 90 problem video solution and created a dedicated playlist for that. You can check out and try to solve as many as possible because these all problem will cover all the data structures, basic concept and idea. Once you have know the basic concept and able to solve these problems, then you can solve any problem by practice and practice. So the let's focus on this problem. So in this problem, we are given a 32 bit integer X and we need to return its digits reverse. So we need to reverse its digits. If reversing X causes the value to go outside the signed 32 bit integer range like this is the range of sign 32 bit minus 2 power 31 to 2 power 31 minus 1, then we need to return in case of over or under flow. And assume that the environment does not allow you to store 64 bit integers signed or unsigned. So this is very important constraint because of this constraint, this problem is little tricky. Though this problem is marked as a easy in lit code, while I can say it's not that easy if with this constraint. So how to solve this kind of problem? So let's see the example here. It is given x is 1, 2, 3 and we need to reverse is 3, 2, 1. So how to solve this problem? So this problem can be reversed like integer can also be re reversed in same way as that the string we do reverse while we need to find out the like significant digits. So for this example in 1, 2, 3. So first we need to reverse it. So for reversing we need to know what is the last digit in this. So how to find the last digit of a number? So for finding the last most digit of a number we do modulo y10. So once we do modulo y10 we will get 3 as the last digit from this 3. So the we will also initialize our reverse integer that is from 0. And once we get the digit, the last digit, what we will do? We will take reverse multiplied by 10 plus the digit we got from the modulo. So this is 3. So this reverse now it become 3. Now once we got this digit, does it matter in other further cases? No. So we need to just forget out. So for that what we need to do, we need to basically trim this last more digit as we already use in our reverse. So for removing the last more digit, what we do, we will take 1, 2, 3 and divide it by 10. And this division we will do integral division. So in Python, you need to use the double slash that will give you integral. Division. So once we do this, we will get over here 12. So once we got, so now our reverse is 3 at this stage and number is left 12. So we will apply the same steps again in 12. So this will become 3 into 10 plus 2. So 2 we will get from by modding 12 mod 10 we will get the 2. So this is what this number reverse will become over here 32 and after dividing 12 by 10 this will become uh, 1. Then we will again repeat the same step and finally we will get 3 to 1 as the reverse which is answer over here. So this is how we can solve and reverse the number. but we need to take care of the special cases. The special case when we are reversing and our integer crossing the int max. So I have written down over here this values of 2 power 31 and 2 power 31 minus 1. So the min value and the max value of integer. So for example, let's say we got, let's take this uh, first positive side part. If we got a number something like 7, 4, 6, 3, 7, 4, 6, 3 and then 8, 4, 7, 4, 1, 2. So this kind of number if we got, so if we try to reverse it, this reverse will work 2, that is fine. Then 1, then 4, then 7, then 4, then 8, then 3, then 6, then uh, 4. But at this point, if we take this so far, it is fine as this number is uh, in the range is still in the range. So we can return the reverse is but what if this number something else like more than 7 if it is 8 let's say let me change the pan here. So if it is 8 then if we try to put over here 8 that is this whole number 
by including 8 is greater than uh, is greater than or equals to the reverse integer max so int max it greater than equals to int max so that is the case which this is getting overflow so how to find this kind of number so before that like when we are taking this like multiplying so as so far till this place so let me change again panning here so till this place till this place we are okay this is our reverse so far now when we are adding another digit so this is the another digit so when we are adding another digit first we are multiplying by 10 so with this 10 we need to check if it is not crossing if it is crossing by multiplying 10 that means it is overflow so we will check if our reverse is greater than int max so let me just write as max value by 10 if it is that means it is overflow case so we will straight forward return 0 another case reverse can be equals to this max by 10 in that case we also need to check the digit the digit we got by the 10 modulo if it is greater than max mod 10 the last digit in our uh, max value so mod 10 if it is greater than it is also a case of overflow we will return 0 here same we will apply for the negative part so negative part what we will do if reverse is greater than if reverse is greater than the uh, if reverse is greater than min min by 10 that is fine we will return 0 and if reverse is greater if reverse is equals to min by 10 then we need to compare digit if digit is greater than the min y min modulo 10 if it is the case then again it is a underflow case so we will return over 0 in this case so this is the or condition so this is the idea you can try to pause the video and try to implement the code by yourself first if you can able to because every step i already covered so here the coding part you can see so basically yeah in uh, maximum like in minimum value we need to compare left i theme my bad i x compared with the greater than instead of greater it will be less than as we are getting sign so this is the case so here this is the code so we declared first reverse variable then we are iterating until our x is not zero then we first got the digit the last most digit in x by taking modulo with 10 and then remove trim that digit by dividing by 10 once we got that digit we will check if current reverse is greater than uh, into like max by 10 or if equal and the digit is greater than modulo value 10 then we will return straight forward zero this is the uh, crossing the int max and this is the left side of the int minimum otherwise we will update our reverse by with the current digit like previous value into 10 plus the current digit once we done at the end we will return the reverse is the reverse of x so let's try to compile i have already written few test cases let me create the negative test case boundary as well so let mark it as 9 and it is negative so let's run first this code at this code already i tested so it will work definitely so there is a is not a valid type of integer so yeah i am giving the wrong integer as it this is not possible so instead of this i should give the reverse of let me make it one over here and take something seven here i guess so let's see if it work otherwise we will remove that test case uh, yeah that's like is not valid integer it is already overflowing as we can only pass the 32 bit 30 integer values for x so let's try to compile again the negative part is also crossing so let's remove this extra test cases better to do with the default test cases first and you can see it's getting compiled for uh, all the test cases let's try to submit the code and this got accepted let me show you the submission so it got accepted with the 100 percent acceptance rates so that's it so the time complexity of this solution as you can see say the number of digit in x that is for example it is constant actually so the maximum there can be a 10 digit in 32 bit uh, signed number so the time complexity of this solution o of 1 and space complexity is also o of 1 so if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also try to do solve other problem from top interview question list 
that is very important when you, if you are preparing for your upcoming interviews thanks for watching